Hello, I'm Brett Hamilton with Cisco, and I'd like to give you a brief overview of Cisco Unified Communications Manager Release 8.5, the latest version of our powerful call processing component of the Cisco Unified Communications System and the platform for many different types of Cisco and third-party collaboration applications. Release 8.5 has several exciting key additions in the areas of video enhancements, operational cost reduction, and user experience improvements. Operational cost reductions and user experience improvements are elements we've continued to invest in and progress over the years, and Release 8.5 brings significant value here, both to new customers as well as existing. In the area of video, we've made major strides to greatly increase accessibility and participation in rich media collaboration throughout the enterprise. Whether a user has access to an immersive telepresence solution or the wide range of desktop clients, and endpoints supporting compelling high-definition video experiences. For video, Communications Manager 8.5 begins doing for video what we did for voice, enabling a single unified un communications and call processing platform for all of Cisco. The end result will be increased participation where more people will be likely to be part of a video call. As a first proof point for this, we offer native support for the Tanberg E20 endpoint. Full support for Cisco CIS is also an integral part of this, serving as the capstone product, aggregating all elements of collaboration in a single device. Also, UC clients, including other video-enabled IP phones and soft clients like Cisco Unified Personal Communicator and third-party video endpoints can interoperate in high-definition video conferences in the standard H.264 codec. Customers tell us that operational cost reductions continue to be a critical element to unified communications, and we've addressed this in our 8.5 release. Improvements in session management and mobility are key here. For session management, release 8.5 now supports a feature called SIP Early Offer, which enables customers to deploy Communications Manager Session Management Edition, SIP Trunks, to other SIP systems with improved interoperability to carriers and third-party PBXs, greater codec flexibility, less configuration complexity, and a reduced need for media resources. SIP transparency and normalization is another new session management feature that provides powerful capabilities for addressing third-party PBX interoperability problems among SIP systems for enhanced third-party PBX interoperability. Native mobility support is advanced through new Cisco mobility clients for Android, iPhone, BlackBerry, and Nokia, which can now be connected directly to the Communications Manager 8.5, eliminating the need for separate mobility servers. This all enables key mobility features, including dial via office, single enterprise voicemail, and least cost routing for mobile devices via the Communications Manager. For customer and user experience improvements, release 8.5 adds a couple of key Cisco contact center enhancements. The agent greeting feature provides a consistent experience to the customer by providing pre-recorded greetings and alleviating agent repetition. And whisper coaching supports dynamically recorded announcements internally to provide important call context to agents in real time to improve customer care. In summary, Communications Manager Release 8.5 builds upon our industry-leading call processing platform, offering you increased business value through enhancements in video, operational cost reductions, and user experience. I invite you to explore our collaboration community at cisco.com slash go slash join conversation to ask questions and share best practices with experts worldwide. Thanks for watching.